When flying search and rescue missions, it can be helpful to have a defined search pattern in the flight plan. This can help ensure a methodical and thorough search. The Advanced Cockpit Environment Avionics System on Pilatus Aircraft allows you to build a search and rescue pattern in the active flight plan. The coupled LNAV flies the desired search pattern, freeing you for surveillance and communication. You can build a search pattern based on the following waypoint options. Customer navigation database waypoints that are not part of departure or arrival procedures in the flight plan. Pilot defined waypoints in the custom database, present position, place bearing distance, place distance, and place bearing place bearing waypoints, and latitude longitude coordinates. You can add a search and rescue pattern to your flight plan using one of three different methods. The first is by clicking on the aircraft symbol, which displays the aircraft task menu. The second is by selecting the desired waypoint in the flight plan, which shows the flight planning task menu. The third method is by clicking on the waypoint on the INAV map, which displays the graphical flight planning task menu. Regardless of which way you choose, Clicking on SAR shows the search pattern dialog box. The type of search pattern is selected from the drop-down menu. You have four types of patterns to choose from. Expanding square, sector, creeping ladder, or parallel. For this video, we will just talk about the expanding square pattern. Start by verifying the starting position. The default waypoint is the waypoint on which you open the search and rescue dialog box. If you selected present position from the aircraft task menu, then your present position will be used as the starting waypoint. Track is the initial track angle at which the aircraft enters the pattern, and it defaults to the current track. The mag true selection only affects the graphical depiction of the approach course in the dialog box and does not impact the mag true selection on the primary flight display or INAV map. Leg space is the space between successive cycles around the search pattern. Whatever number you enter here is duplicated into the initial length field. Initial length is the length of the first leg of the expanding square search pattern. If the initial leg length is longer than the leg space, the search pattern will end up being a rectangle. The radius is the horizontal distance away from the starting position once the search pattern legs are complete. You have to enter a radius that is greater than the leg space or initial length. Speed is the speed at which the aircraft enters the pattern. It defaults to 120 knots and can be changed. The direction at which the aircraft enters the pattern defaults to right. The graphical inset shows you what the search pattern you have defined looks like. It's only a representation and there may be some differences from the actual pattern. If at any time you want to start over while building the search pattern, just select default this resets all of the fields to the default settings. This option is only available before you have added the search pattern to the flight plan. If you are satisfied with the search pattern, select Apply to create a pending flight plan. Be sure to review the pattern on the map and flight plan list and then activate it. The search and rescue waypoints are defined and inserted in the active flight plan according to the type of search and rescue waypoint. The initial fix or start position waypoint is named SPST. The FMS designates the start of the search with SPST rather than the original name of the waypoint used to define the start of the search pattern. The waypoints in between the starting fix and exit point are consecutively numbered. The last waypoint or exit point in the search pattern is named SPEX. The predicted altitude for search and rescue waypoints is set to the current altitude. When the search and rescue pattern is active, searching is displayed on the VSD and the active flight plan waypoint. Selecting Suspend SAR on the INAV map or waypoint list suspends the search and rescue pattern and puts a Suspend waypoint on the current active flight plan leg. If you have suspended the pattern, select Resume SAR to resume the search pattern. This puts a direct to back to the Suspend waypoint. You can restart the pattern at any time by selecting Restart. This will create a direct to from your current position to the original starting point of the pattern. 
To remove the search pattern from the flight plan, select Delete from the Search Pattern dialog box. This creates a pending flight plan that you must activate. The Delete option may be used for either an active or inactive search pattern. The Search and Rescue option on Pilatus aircraft provides pilots with a great tool to help reduce workload and increase safety and efficiency while flying a search and rescue mission. For more detailed information on building search and rescue patterns on the Pilatus PC-12 and PC-24, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.